Let's look at how to convert an RTMP stream into WebRTC using Wowza Streaming Engine. And the reason why you'd want to do this is because you have an RTMP stream and maybe it's coming from a standard encoder or maybe it's coming from an IP camera, but you want to be able to show that live stream to a WebRTC group chat. So to begin in Wowza Streaming Engine, you'll need to have a secure way of sending that information. If you already have an account, go to wowza.com and click on my account at the top. Then go to Streamlock and it's here you can apply for an SSL certificate. Now, once you've applied for one, you'll have a host name, which you'll be using quite a bit, uh, an IP address, license key. As well, you'll need to make sure that you've downloaded the certificate to your Wowza Streaming Engine installation in the CONF directory. Now, once all that's set up, you'll go into your Wowza Streaming Engine instance and under server, you'll go to virtual host setup and here you'll need to add a host port. So clicking edit, you can scroll down and add host port right here. But as you can see, I already added the host port for Streamlock and I'll just click on edit here so you can see the settings. But the name is Streamlock, the type is streaming, the IP address is a wildcard, the port is 443. You're going to need to enable SSL slash Streamlock. You'll need to place a key store path to get to the Streamlock certificate that you downloaded and put in that CONF directory. You'll also need to use the key store password as well as check use WebRTC. Okay, once all of this is done, you'll be able to then add the application for this stream. So I'm gonna add the application right here and I'm going to go and click on live single server or origin and I'm gonna call this Denver. And I'm gonna do that in all lowercase. And now that it's added, I'm gonna to go to the left to WebRTC and I'm gonna configure this for uh, both ingest and egress of WebRTC just so we can make sure everything is working. So I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to check all of the WebRTC features to enable. And I'm also going to go into the ICE candidate setup. And here I'm going to need to add an IP address. And uh, that IP address, I'll, I'm just going to go up here to the top and I'm going to grab it. It's the IP address for your Wowza Streaming Engine instance. And uh, you want this to be the main priority protocol used. So I'm gonna move it to the top. And just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to just copy this again and change it for TCP, just in case it defaults to TCP. Okay, now that that's done, I'll click save. And to make this active, I do need to restart the application. Once that's done, I can then test this. So we have two testing pages, as you can see, both a play page as well as a publish page. And we're just going to test this right here to make sure everything's working. Now, as you can see, uh, everything has already been set up. Uh, it is using my Streamlock URL right here, slash WebRTC dash session dot JSON. And the application name is wrong, though. The application name is Denver. And uh, the stream name, I am going to be, I'm going to leave it as golden. Uh, it's fine for it to be that. I happen to be in the golden office. And I'm just going to publish this right now, leaving everything as a default. And you can see on the left side, the live is listed there, letting me know that I'm live. But also, if I go back, into Wowza Streaming Engine, I can check my incoming streams and I can see that my Golden Office stream is running and active. And now I can go to the playback window here. I'm just going to bring this down so we can actually see it right next to it. And again, that signaling URL has already been set up with the same information. The only difference here is, again, I need to change the application name to Denver. 
all right so we can see that's working working i'm just going to turn the audio on audio so you can so you hear the audio, audio verified, verified. Everything, everything is everything correct. correct i'll turn that off now just so it is not annoying now the next thing we're going to need to do is instead of streaming in via webrtc and playing back via webrtc we're going to instead stop the stream close this up and we're going to open oh and i don't have it open so i am going to open up obs studio now i haven't configured obs studio at all here so i'm going to do some configurations right off the bat i'm going to add my source so my source needs to be uh, a both a audio source so just to be uh, just to be safe I'm gonna do audio input capture I'm gonna make sure that it's using uh, my headset right here that I have on right now and I'm also uh, going to be then pulling in my uh, video capture device and that is going to be my webcam there we go Okay, and it is using the standard presets, so this is only 720p resolution. Hi. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into settings. And here under settings, I'm going to go to stream. And for the service, change it to custom. Now I can add the server information, which I'm just going to paste in for right now. As you can see, it's going to my Wiser Streaming Engine IP address, colon, 1935 slash and then the application which is Denver. I'm going to change the stream key. We had golden before, but I'm going to make it Arvada. I'm just going to show it so you can see it. And I'm going to use my authentication, which I've already set up in Bios Streaming Engine. Now you're going to need to do more than this, but I'm just going to show you what happens right now when I start streaming. So just to verify, we are streaming right now. If I go into Wowza Streaming Engine, I can refresh and see my active stream of Arvada. And if I go to WebRTC and open the WebRTC play page, I'll switch that stream name to Arvada and play. And we're going to see something that not only is glitchy when it does show you information, uh, but doesn't have any audio. And that's because of a few things. Uh, one, it's because that RTMP uh, needs to be Opus for the audio codec. So we need to convert it, or rather transcode it, from AAC to Opus. And also, uh, WebRTC um, doesn't really like B frames. And so we have to make some changes to the encoder itself. Okay. So first, let's make changes to the encoder just so you can see how that operates. So I'm going to keep this simple. Uh, while I could, and I'm going to stop the stream first, go to settings. And um, while I could just go to output and try to do something like uh, change this to uh, B frames equals zero. Uh, it's kind of easier for me to just use the output mode advanced, which uh, does clean up some of these things by default. But as you can see, I've also added in here the B frames equals zero just to be on the safe side. And one other thing, um, WebRTC prefers audio that is at a sample rate of 48 kilohertz or 48,000 hertz. Uh, so I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it wants to restart. I'm going to let OBS restart this, and now I'm going to start the stream once again. And now that I've started the stream, I can go back in to uh, Wowza Streaming Engine, and I can open the WebRTC Play page, and I can go to Play. And as you see right now, uh, the visual is working once again. We are seeing all of our frames, but the audio still is not working. So the next thing we need to do is go to our transcoder in Wowza Streaming Engine, and we are going to change the fallback template this time to use audio only. Now, right now, the audio only transcoder template is set to convert AAC. And uh, what we need to do is add a preset to convert it to Opus. 
I'm just gonna copy the information here that I have right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add preset. I'm gonna call this Opus outgoing stream name. As you can see, I've copied it, but I'm changing the end to Opus. And then if we scroll to the bottom, we can set the audio setting for the audio codec to be Opus with the audio bitrate to be 48,000. I'm gonna add that. Okay, now that it's been added, I can go to Opus and I can enable that. And I also may want to disable AAC. You don't have to, it's up to you, um, but you don't necessarily need to uh, transcode them both. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna return to my transcoder template and I am going to enable the transcoder. So let's restart now. And once we've restarted, uh, OBS needs to disconnect and then reconnect. And then we can go to incoming streams. And as you can see, it's not there quite yet, but if we refresh, we'll see it right there, Arvada underscore Opus. Now we can test it by going back to WebRTC open the WebRTC play page, and stream name is Arvada underscore Opus. Now we can play it, and if I unmute myself, and if I, unmute I, can myself I can hear the audio playing. the audio playing. Let's actually go and just see Let's this. Let's actually go and just see this. Right with Opus running at the same right time. Right with Opus running at the same time. And yes, there definitely is and a bit yes, of a lag. there definitely is a bit of a lag. And it's definitely hard for me to hear myself when I am talking at the same time. So that is it for this presentation. I want to thank you all for watching. And definitely, if you need a great way to convert RTMP to WebRTC for any number of reasons, Wireless Streaming Engine is definitely the way to go. Have a great day.